Hi there, it's week two of my half marathon training, Road to PR. It's already 7 p.m. I originally wanted to run at 7 a.m. So I'm a little bit late today, but hopefully I'll finish this 12 mile run. My husband's joining me today. Still kind of scary to run alone at night, especially for 12 miles. So he's my, I don't know, guard today. We're going down there. So how has your week been? I hope you had a wonderful week. Mine was a little tough. I'm just having a hard time balancing my time with work, training, making YouTube videos, and all the other things I want to do in life. At the beginning of the year, I mentioned that I wanted to run another world major, and it was actually the Berlin Marathon. Let me breathe. So I ended up reaching out to a charity organization so I can run, so I can run the Berlin Marathon through a charity because um, the registration period was closed already. And so I reached out to a charity organization. Unfortunately, it took them a while to reply. And then by the time they did, they said that they didn't have any slots for charity. So I tried to reach out to other charity organizations, but unfortunately, all of them were full already. So I couldn't run the Berlin Marathon this year. So what happened next was I reached out to Emerman Angels. They're the charity team I run for in the Chicago Marathon. To make the long story short, I ended up with a charity entry for the New York City Marathon. Woohoo! But, very, very big. But the huge caveat to that is I have to raise three thousand dollars yes three thousand dollars which is fine because that money will go to charity but that's still three thousand dollars i remember last year i had a hard time raising 1800 for the chicago marathon what i did was i went and donate my plasma twice a week so that i can raise money for the chicago marathon I did have donations from family and friends, but it was still hard to reach 1800. And most of the money I raised was actually from a plasma donation. We're at mile three, by the way. And I'm tired. Donating plasma twice a week definitely affected my health. I was having a hard time recovering, especially since I was training for the marathon with intense training and plasma donation. It was so hard to recover. I knew I can't donate my plasma again this year. I originally thought I can use my own money to raise $3,000 for the New York City Marathon. Again, $3,000 is the minimum amount you have to raise if you're running through a charity. But unexpected things happened in our lives that it'll be very hard for me to use $3,000 out of my pocket. I also have big plans in the upcoming months and next year, which is very personal to me. I'll probably share it in the future, but that would take up a lot of my time. So now I don't have the time to work full time train for a full marathon, raise $3,000, um, run a YouTube channel, and do my personal project. Water, please. Thank you. Welcome. Mm. This is not a regular one. Uh -oh. Thank you. It stressed me out for weeks thinking, how will I raise $3,000 and have a life and actually train for a marathon? It was so stressful for me. 
I'm the type of person who gets embarrassed asking people for money, even though I know it's for charity. But we're all in the same boat. Life is so hard right now, especially with inflation and how the economy is all around the world. So that's why I feel shy asking people. So I was really stressing out. That's why I really want to grow this YouTube channel so that once I get monetized, I can donate everything I earn from this YouTube channel to a charity organization. And that's what I want to do in the future. I want to run more races and donate to charity. Oh no, is that a hill? Oh no. It feels like I'm in Zelda. <laughs> I'm a bacoblin. Is that what you call them? Bacoblin. <laughs> so steep. Need to walk. Let's take a quick break. The view is so beautiful. I know you may ask. How about fundraising? People usually fundraise for things like this. But I have two concerns about fundraising at the moment. Aside from, I'm shy to ask people for money. First, is that I don't know a lot of people. And I know there's tons of people out there who wants to donate money. But they just can't. Especially with our economy. I mean, it is hard to donate right now. And I know other people are donating, but they have their own charities already that they are supporting. And second is my big project. The big project, I started it already, and it's kind of taking up my time a lot. And it'll take up more of my time in the upcoming months, next year, and probably, hopefully if it works, in the next two, three, four years. So I don't have the time and don't know a lot of people to fundraise. Last year, I did my best to fundraise, um, reach out to people, sell some cookies, but it was not enough to raise 1800. I still had to name, I still had to donate my plasma gonna be uphill from now oh it's getting so late it's 8 34 p.m oh. we're halfway through though i have to do this faster oh. i knew the right thing to do for my mental health and my sanity is to let go of the new york city marathon to withdraw my charity entry but i don't want to i want to run for charity it was a very hard decision for me one night i just can't couldn't sleep i was trying to figure out how will i manage my time how will i raise money for the new york city marathon and i finally realized i have to give up new york city marathon and that actually gave me peace of mind. New York City Marathon will always be there. I just have to focus on my goals right now. I can definitely run another world major someday. I had to let Immerman Angels know right away that I'm withdrawing my entry. I think that's the best thing I can do so that another person who wants to run the New York City Marathon through that charity can get an entry. I don't want to change my mind last minute and force myself if I know deep inside it'll be impossible for me to do it. I am still thinking if I'm going to do a fall race this year and if I will, what distance will it be? I really want to run a full marathon but even training for a half marathon right now is so hard for me with my schedule but I am hoping I can run one probably around November or December. At least the responsibility 
of um, raising money for charity won't be there. So hopefully that would allow me to focus on my priorities right now and my training. So I'm so sorry to disappoint you that I'm not running for any charity races this year, especially since this YouTube channel is for charity. But I swear, once I get monetized, I'll donate everything that I earn from this channel to a charity. And yeah, I think I only need 300 subscribers left to be monetized. And I know people don't earn a lot by just um, being monetized from AdSense, but at least that would help us start earning money for charity. And hopefully I can find other ways to earn for this YouTube channel so that we can have more money for charity. And I, I just believe in this channel and I also believe in myself that I can do this. Um, I've always wanted to help charity organizations or even build my own charity. But I feel like there's a lot of good charities out there already that I can help. So I can just do that and help the ones that are established already since I don't have to raise money to even start my own charity, you know? I can just donate that money instead. I feel like I need to share this with you because you're here supporting my channel for charity. And I'm so sorry. I don't have any clear charity entry this year yet. Again, I will assure you that once I get monetized, I will sign up for a race so that we can donate that money for charity. Thank you so much for supporting me. And thank you so much for my husband for running with me biking with me i guess what's the right term being dragged along thank you to my husband for being dragged along <laughs> so now here's some not so cinematic shots It's 9.48, finally done with my run. Whew, that was scary.